Hello, hello, good evening everybody. Happy winter kickoff launch party. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this everybody. So this is our live cooking demo of the week. And for those of you that have been participating, I've been doing a virtual kickoff winter launch party right here in this VIP. So if you have been in that, it's um, been so awesome to share with all of you. And my goal is to kick off the winter season with all of our new flavors and to hopefully help you in the end, eliminate mealtime boredom, de-stress mealtime and what's for dinner, kick up those flavors, bring your family around the table with delicious Epicure meals and help you save money because our meals on average are about two to four dollars a serving. So very cost effective when you cook at home. All right, so we are kicking it off with our brand new winter season one catalog. It is filled with delicious meals you can make in under 20 minutes. Lots of nostalgic flavors have come back. Some different flavors, different meals. I know that I personally have never tried until now and I'm falling in love with these new flavors. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick demo with one of the new sweet treats and then I'm gonna quickly recap what's new and then we'll wrap this up in about 20 minutes. So let's start with a quick cooking demo. So I'm gonna start with something sweet. You know, February is the month of love, which is coming up with Valentine's. I thought I would show you how easy it is to make these red velvet delicious cupcakes. Um, and what's really neat about Epicure's red velvet cupcake mix is that our red, that beautiful red hue, that color comes from the color from beet powder, not from artificial colors, which most of your mixes from the grocery store come with. Okay, so what you're gonna start with is you're going to take two eggs, you're gonna take three quarters of a cup of milk, any milk, I have done almond milk and it works great. One third of a cup oil, any type of cooking oil of choice, you could use coconut, vegetable, etc. And then you're going to whisk that up. So just get that whisking. Okay, and then while that's whisking, you're gonna take your pouch. Now what I love about this is if you're not a huge baker, like me, I'm not a huge baker. I love to cook, not so much baking, but I can totally bake when it comes from a pouch. Now, a lot of the cake mixes you're buying at the grocery store are filled with a lot of additives and preservatives and just weird things that you can't pronounce. Epicure, super, super clean, top of the line, and it's also gluten-free. All of our Epicure products, 100% gluten-free. Oh my gosh, that smells fantastic. So just to give you an idea of some of these ingredients, we have our organic cane sugar. So we also don't use refined processed sugar, rice flour, cornstarch, tapioca starch, beet, because that's where you're gonna get that beautiful red color, baking powder, organic cocoa powder, and sea salt. You can pronounce every one of those ingredients. Super high quality and clean, which is wonderful. Okay, so once that, let's just give it a really good whisk here. Woo! Okay, I love this tool. I actually didn't think I would ever use one because I always labeled myself as not being a baker. Oh my gosh, I use it so much. Not just for baking, but I use it to mix up like cheese dips, meatloaf, like anything that needs mixing, I do it in here. Whipped potatoes. Jeez, such a great tool. Do you guys have one of these? If so, do you love it? What do you use it for? So I'm just putting on the mixing paddle here and I'm going to dump the Epicure cupcake mix in here. Now it also calls for, and I missed this, darn it. Oh well, I'll put it now. I'm supposed to put it with the wet. Two teaspoons of vinegar and, this is why I'm not a baker because I don't follow instructions very good. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I got this vanilla on our last trip to Mexico love it. The vanilla is so good and it's such a good price as well. Okay, so let's mix this up. Okay. Get that mixing. Okay, so while that is mixing, I am going to use our silicone muffin pans. These are great for storage because they stack. I mean, gosh, you could even roll them up throw an elastic band on them. They take no space at all. They're great for freezing leftover sauces or making ice cubes as well. If you're looking for an awesome ice cube tray, and I'm going to use them for baking. 
So what we're going to want to do is baste them with a little bit of cooking oil. So I'm just using a little bit of vegetable oil here and our handy dandy silicone basting brush. Another great tool because, I mean, if you've ever used those basting brushes that are like a paintbrush and you pull out a hair <laughs> from your muffin because the bristles get brittle and they come off on those basting brushes but they're not going to with your silicone brush. So that's a really handy tool if you wanna add that to your shopping cart. Woo! Okay, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so I've got my muffin pans um, oiled. I'm going to grab my sheet pans. So today I'm going to use my quarter sheet pans, but I could also do two up on a full size sheet pan. I love these quarter sheet pans, guys. They come in a set of two. They are fantastic if you don't have these. They are such a great investment, not just for baking, but sometimes I'll do like chicken on here, potatoes on there. It's a wonderful size. I use it for a family of five, but I mean, even if you're cooking for like one or two, you could just do a quarter sheet pan instead of filling a huge sheet pan up. Wonderful, wonderful um, cookware. Okay, so now we're just gonna take that batter. And another great tool from Epicure is our prep scooper. So this one measures one quarter cup we also have one that does two tablespoons. So I kind of think of this one for cookies, this one for muffins and um, cupcakes. And I'm just going to divide the batter. See how easy it is to scoop with that? Oh my gosh. I even use this scooper when I'm doing um, potatoes, rice, serving that. It just works so good for serving. Um, I've done meatloaf cupcakes before. So I did my meatloaf up and then I scooped the meatloaf, the raw meatloaf into the muffin pan. And then from there, baked it in the oven and then served it with whipped uh, potatoes on top. So meatloaf cupcakes. All right, I think I added too much batter because it's supposed to do 12 cupcakes. So I just gotta do a little bit of separating here. <laughs> I always over scoop. I'm an over scooper. Overachiever, over scooper. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so, oh, it looks like there's enough batter along the outside here. So that's what's great again. Another awesome tool is all of our silicone utensils. They're wonderful tools in your kitchen. Okay, I think that looks good. Looks about even. Okay, now you guys are not even going to believe this. I don't need my sheet pans now that I think of it. These could go in the oven just like that, but I wanted to show you today the microwave. Like, you're not even gonna believe this. So I'm gonna do it in two batches. We're gonna pop this in the microwave for two and a half minutes. Oh, we got something, somebody forgot the microwave up here. Um, two and a half minutes. Start. This is so cool. So again, you can do this in the oven, traditional style, uh, 15 to 18 minutes, but I'm gonna do the microwave in two batches for two and a half minutes. Like, it's so crazy. I did it the other day and like, I couldn't even believe how perfectly cooked it was. Now, when you bake in the microwave, you're not going to use the toothpick test, okay? Because when it comes out of the microwave and you use the toothpick test, it's going to not quite be cooked in the inside. That's normal. So when it comes out of the microwave, you let it sit for about five to six minutes and it finishes its cooking inside that silicone cookware um, and then it's perfect, okay? So toothpick test does not work when cooking in the microwave with your silicone. So while that's going, let's talk about some more of our new flavors here with Epicare. So we have got back by popular demand, we used to have this quite a few years ago and people have been asking for it, is our delicious pizza seasoning. And it does have real Parmesan cheese in it. So you can sprinkle this on top of pizza, you can use it when you're making pasta. Like the flavors are absolutely phenomenal in this one. Um, you're looking at like tomato, real Parmesan cheese. Um, we've got herbs and garlic and green pepper and chilies. Very, very, very popular blend. So that's our pizza seasoning. Also backed by popular demand is our chili seasoning. We, you guys have been asking for this for a few years to come back as in a jar and we listened. So your cha-cha chili in the pouch is now in a jar. 
without the hydrated peppers and stuff. This is just your chili powder. I actually have chili cooking in my slow cooker right now. So cha cha chili is back. Now let's talk about some new innovative meals from Epicure. We have brand new lemon chicken orzo to die for. Orzo is like a mix between a rice and a pasta. You just find it in the pasta aisle. Um, and you're gonna do chicken and spinach and cherry tomatoes. Now, if you guys go back to my last few videos this month, um, or check me out on YouTube, you're gonna see I've been testing all of these flavors. So I did lemon chicken orzo, um, and instead of spinach, I just did, what did I do? Was it broccoli or peas? I can't remember. <laughs> Many days since I've done it um, but it's so great versatile absolutely delicious another new one um, let me grab those cupcakes oh my gosh this looks amazing look at this ah, so cool okay so I'm gonna grab the other one put it in for two and a half minutes microwave baking is totally my jam love it love it love it like think of the hydro we're saving we are we are definitely helping the environment here <laughs> okay so lemon chicken orzo another new one and this out of everything here is probably my favorite yaki udon people go what the heck is yaki udon i said the same thing let me like dummy it down for you chicken stir fry <laughs> a delicious flavorful chicken stir fry so I do chicken, I do veggies, like you've got your recipe on the back, but you can totally do like a fridge dump. So at the end of the week, when all your veggies, you're not really sure what you're gonna use them for, they're about to go bad, chop them all up, throw some chicken in a frying pan, mix this, which is your seasoning with water, pour it all over top, done. Like such a flavorful stir fry. And if you love stir fries, you're looking for some a different flavor, you wanna get this. Now a traditional yaki udon is served with noodles. Um, let me show you the noodles that I bought. Um, right here. So I came in a three pack at Superstore. Okay, President's Choice udon noodles. And then they came in these little three packs. They almost look like they're cooked, they almost are. Uh, you just boiled them for three minutes and they were done. So you would toss this into your stir fry for a traditional yaki udon. My honest opinion, I rather add more veggies, heavy up on the veggie and cut the carb and not add the noodles. Um, the kids really enjoyed it with the noodles. So I did it both ways. I did it with and without noodles. Totally up to you. Um, now we're gonna talk about some sweet treats. We've got our morning glory muffins. This is a really like, nostalgic flavor like i remember growing up with morning glory muffins like i just it reminds me of my childhood that smell of muffins on a sunday morning my mom had them freshly baked so delicious um morning glory muffins are like that mix with just super hearty and what's great about these is that you're not going to be having to peel carrots and chop up uh fruit and stuff it's all in the pouch. So in here, again, they're gluten-free. We're using organic, organic cane sugar, organic ingredients, but you've got apples, carrots, coconut, cinnamon, cranberries, like it's all in the mix. You can scoop in a little bit of fresh fruit if you want, or some dried raisins or cranberries. I've seen some girls add pecans, like you can add more, but all the basics is right here in this pouch. Like it's quite heavy and dense. You are definitely getting amazing value with these epicure pouches and again whole fresh or whole ingredients clean ingredients no preservatives no additives so morning glory muffins there's also some excellent recipes make sure you're checking out my website guys go to carriebarfoot.com type in morning glory um, muffins and you're going to see lots of versatility some of the girls are making pancake mix out of this like just so cool um, and then the next dessert is the Dolce de Leche, which is a pudding. I've done this uh, twice this past week for my cooking classes in person. Uh, thank you to my hosts that have hosted in person. We made this pudding together. Just mix it with two cups of milk of choice, regular milk, almond milk, coconut milk. Um, whisk it up, let it set for a few minutes in the fridge, it's done. And it's like a delicious like salted caramel um, with like a hint of like, that cocoa coffee taste 
So your ingredients again are organic, organic coconut sugar, tapioca starch, that's your thickener, coffee powder. So there's a little bit of coffee in here. It gives it that coffee cocoa taste. Uh, cocoa powder, vanilla, like, oh, so darn delicious. Serve it straight up, or what's really good is like a scoop of whipped cream, maybe a drizzle of caramel. Oh, definitely delicious. And it's like, it's instant pudding. You literally make this in two minutes, but you look like a top chef. Your family is just gonna be giving you high fives all around. <laughs> now let's go to, let me grab those muffins out. Let them sit. So we wanna make sure they sit for their five to six minutes. Don't try to flip them out too soon because they're still cooking in here. The magic's still happening. So let's flip over to some drinks. Uh, we have our dark and dreamy hot chocolate back. Historically, this was only available at the Christmas season, but we've decided this year to bring a lot of these flavors into the winter season because it's cold. And here, like in southwestern Ontario, we don't usually get our snow until sometimes January or February. So we have kept this in our winter catalog. I'm really excited about that. Um, lots of warm, delicious drinks for you guys. So dark and dreamy hot chocolate. Enjoy that hot chocolate without all the added stuff and the fake tasting sugars it is like rich and clean and delicious and then a brand new latte mix is our golden latte think turmeric and cinnamon and oh my gosh it's so good just mix it up with some milk um you could froth some delicious milk on top or do what i've been doing this past week for my cooking classes i served golden hot chocolate and I just, with milk, put the, a scoop of each in here, and we did a delicious golden hot chocolate. Oh, it was exceptional. So there you go, there you have it. There is just a quick basics of some of the new flavors that have come into our lineup. Um, I hope that you will take some time to browse the catalog I sent you in the mail, or if you didn't get one, our virtual catalog. If you can't find it, please message me, I'll give you a link. What I love is if you've got the paper book or the virtual, skip right to the very end. And you're gonna notice this season that our index is all by picture. It makes it so easy to find everything. Everything is by picture in the index. So a quick reference to what we have to offer and the price, okay? Um, so now it's time to do some grocery shopping, get some meals for your family, switch up those flavors, get out of that recipe rut. Um, and take part in my winter kickoff party. Everybody that places an order will get entered for some fabulous prizes that I'll be giving away. Now, who's curious to see what these cupcakes look like? Yeah, okay. So we're using our silicone and what's great about the silicone is it doesn't stick. So I'm just gonna kind of grab it because it's all, all the way around the outsides here. Pop that out and there we go. Delicious red velvet cupcake literally pops right out of that muffin pan like that so easy let's do another one for you guys to see now i'm going to grab my silicone this is a great tool from epicure it's the silicone knife just so i make sure that the top of the muffin doesn't stick because everyone loves the muffin top right <laughs> all right flop that out just pop there you go let me show you here. Look at, ah! <laughs> here we go. Delicious red velvet cupcake just pops right out. Two and a half minutes in the microwave, no joke. You can totally do these in the oven. You can totally do them in whatever muffin pan you already have. Um, but of course I wanted to feature Epicure. So we featured the silicone muffin pan, comes in a set of two. And I am using actually our cooling racks. They come in a set of two um, to cool them on. And what's neat about these cooling racks is if you have our sheet pans, if you have the large sheet pan, these fit two up. If you have a quarter, they fit one up. And from here, you could make, it's like a crisping tray. So crunchy pizza, bruschetta bread, chicken fingers, sweet potato fries, you name it. All right, so now for the icing. Um, you can follow the recipe on the back here for a cream cheese icing. I followed the recipe, but I found it was a little like, um, not what, like thin. So I added a little bit more icing sugar than what this recipe called for. Or you could do a buttercream icing, or you could do no icing at all and call it a cupcake or call it a muffin. <laughs> Have it for breakfast. <laughs> Anyhow, that is our cooking demo for today, under 20 minutes. 
thank you so much for joining me. Three ways to work with me. One is to grocery shop, place an order on our kickoff party, get entered into draws. Number two is to save. Message me. I would love to do a virtual party with you and your friends, or if you're local, I'll come to you and do an in-person cooking demo. And as a host for bringing us together, you will get your shopping free and half price. And number three, if you love the products, if you're cooking with the products, if you stand by Epicure, become an ambassador, become a brand ambassador and help us share good food. Cook with Epicure, get an amazing discount and kickback on the products that you're using, share your recipes with your friends and family, and when they shop, you're going to get a kickback on every order that they submit under you. Why not? So message me if you'd like to make money by being an ambassador, save by being a host, or shop and make mealtime delicious this year. Bye everybody, thank you for joining. Talk to you soon.